Hey everybody, it's Rob here. The Bone Spirit Necromancer is shining very bright this season, hitting for billions and billions of damage and actually sitting at number two just behind the Sorcerer. King Pig here did 152 and I have some footage here and also look at this damage. I'm gonna link the full clear and the planner in the description. Look at these numbers here, like he just takes down these monsters and look, every few frames there's like 10 billion popping up on the screen completely crushing everything so he's basically speed running this and he's using a technology here where he gains the uh, essence back from his bone prism you see all these segments and they all count as minions and they also all count as him killing a monster when he re summons them so he has essence per kill refilling his essence like in an instant when he's attacking here so let, let's see like when he makes a pull you see he does basically bone spirit then bone prism and then spirit prism spirit prism spirit prism and then he's only kept by his attack speed and you see here every hit man it goes for double digit billions <laughs> it's completely crazy like we've seen numbers up to up to like 20 billion here so <laughs> he just blasts them down like crazy. You see here, this, this is like one of his power rotations there. Look at this, 20 billion, man. This is like twice a second or something, like 40 billion DPS, something like that. He just completely crushes this. And this is like the new technology that I think uh, King Pig also figured out with this uh, bone prism instead of just relying on the Macabre skills restore essence. He's also using that mechanic, but again, mainly the prism here. And it's actually a pretty cool rotation. He curses the enemies, then he has the Blood Mist, he pixels them with Corpse, Tendrils, Bone, Storm, as you can see, permanent, then Bone, Prism, and then just Bone, Spirit, Prism, Bone, Spirit, Prism. And dude, like, they elite, they just melt. And he actually speed clears this extremely fast. Here, one more pull, you see, boom, the pixeling, and then bam, 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 bam. This is what Hoda Barbarian used to be, but they cut it by 10. And now there's the Necro. This build has been buffed and buffed and buffed. It used to be the strongest build already and they kept buffing it basically and they nerfed the minions for some reason which was already weaker than this and well now obviously the gap is huge. And this is the strongest Necromancer build by far at least for pit pushing. And I'm going to show you here the setup and um, just look at the boss skill here. Like he basically also blasts on the boss. You see here, boom, 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 boom. Man, he hits like a machine gun, like 10 billion, 10 billion, 10 billion. Like he just blasts basically. Like goes completely crazy. And uh, yeah, takes down this uh, 152. This is currently basically the second highest clear of any class uh, tied with Druid after the Sorcerer. Sorcerer has done 156. And there's actually, uh, as he clears this, there's actually a pretty cool community leaderboard here. You can see the top clears. And Meku did the 157 on, I think on the previous patch, there's another 156 now with the big Thork nerves, like they still do the same tier. And uh, Barbarian currently 139, that's how it looks. Um, and uh, he has a full planner here with all the, the stats and all the, the rework stuff here. And I just want to show you here like how crazy the Bone Spirit is getting rank 37 in total. And he basically spends all the essence every time here. And he's using, again, here this essence per kill on a two-hander that he actually masterworked. And again, um, every uh, Bone Prism segment that you see here counts as a kill. And this is how he basically is able to insta-refresh his entire essence. You see, boom, he casts and the essence bubble instantly is full. So very, very crazy combination here. So he is rocking. I'm going to put his planner in the description. Um, he's rocking Harlequin's Crest. Uh, he's working the Macabre skills here on the chest. Also, like, just crazy ranks here, even just the curses and everything. And uh, now he has the Barrier Bone Prism. They actually buffed this. And this is, like, a lot stronger now. I'm just used to this. Uh, he's, like, a lot stronger now because it basically does a percent of your maximum damage. Uh, then, Grasping Veins for Pixel Pulling. You have the Blood Moon Breaches here with the crazy overpower damage. Also, the Curse Duration and Curse Ranks. This one got freshly buffed, 2.5x. Uh, the Path of Tragul, new, unique, insanely strong. And then the Imprisoned Spirit aspect here. <laughs> Again, the Essence per Kill and using a 200 Maze, because the main principle of the build basically relies on Banished Lord Talisman. Every single Bone Spirit, you are spending the required 275 primary resource. And this makes every hit an overpower 
And then you have effects buffing your crit chance, such as your sacrifices and serration here. So you're scaling essence, you're scaling the uh, ossified essence, and you're getting a bunch of max essence, like more than 300. And this allows you to do this like insane damage and basically spend 300 essence every single cast and guarantee overpower and guarantee crit with this crazy essence. Uh, then serration and uh, the sacrificial aspect right here. And uh, skill tree is looking like this. And the Crepify, Corpse Tendrils, Blood Mist, Bone Prison, Bone Storm, Bone Spirit, Rest Gems, and Life. I'm not sure like if in the end game like you will actually go no Life Gems, but uh, you would go if you're feeling fancy, you would go with Topa, so more DPS. But that was not the case yet. So then you're sacrificing uh, 10 crit chance. Uh, you sacrifice over power 1.3x here on the bone, and then 1.35x uh, for the crit damage. And this just gives you like a crazy big synergy. And you also have in your skill tree, you have these like crazy multipliers that multiply it even more standalone and memo morito. And you have the sacrificial aspect multiplying it even further. You're also stacking attack speed for some crazy breakpoints. Um, but King Pig also says it here in his planner that uh, he can probably do 154. Um, but this build is only recommended for hordes. If in fact, uh, you want to do a uh, only uh, for pits. If you want to do hordes, you can try the blood search here. I'm also going to link that planner below. This is more AOE focus build, and this was before the patch, and he was already doing uh, well above 800 ether here, and it's still like very very decent for AOE clear. But yeah, this is like a pit push focus build basically. Uh, skill tree is looking like this: bone splinters. Uh, imperfectly balanced, uh, huge flash, blood mist, then the bone prism here. If an enemy is trapped, you gain the essence plus five per enemy trapped, and then plus the essence on kill that you get that you get from removing the segments from the previous prism cast. Uh, Death embrace, amplified damage, the crepify, uh, corpse tendrils here. Then the big bone spirit, and again, you can get 37 ranks here. It's gonna spend all the essence and you get some back. Uh, max all the uh, bone synergies here. Extremely strong, sacrifice, sacrifice, attack speed, bone storm, and also fight essence here for the crazy, crazy multipliers. And there uh, you guys can see here, in the end, <laughs> we get this like 37, <laughs> Bone spirit and it's already dealing like 368% base, so it goes completely wild. And uh, Paragon Tree is looking like this so, uh, Grave Creeper in the starter board here, uh, then Essence with a Bone Graft on the right side here in the Flesh Eater. We have Corporal and this Necroman here has so many multipliers, it's crazy. Bloodbath here, another 1.7x. Just I'm just imagining this passive on the barb, man, you know. <laughs> completely crazy uh, then exploit and down here control in the cult leaderboard again not a minion build no minions at all again actually the minions are not really in the meta blood getter here with amplify and last but not least scent of death with dominate socket and also look at the dominate glyph on the necromancer actually giving multiplicative damage for the necromancer that is insane and yeah, I mean, like he takes down the bill, uh, he takes down the bosses here. And if you, you know, want to see some big numbers in the double-digit billion range, I'm not exactly sure like how crazy his gears. He doesn't have his gear, but uh, man, like this is already insane. And this is actually like the power of the old Hoda Bob. I'm just hoping we're gonna get some mid-season love at some point. Like 152, he takes it down again. Check out King Pick here on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a sub. A great guy and he's also been one of the main blasters on the Flay Barb, if you remember. And there's also another bar blaster that was actually playing Barb and I'm gonna make a video probably about this next. There's 152 actually tying here. Oh, I don't have this anymore. It was from PXX. Okay, we got it here. Another Flay Blaster. We've lost another one. So this one, <laughs> King Flick playing Necro and then here we have the Storm Slide Barbarian here from PXX. This was the other guy that pushed on Flay. Also no longer on the Barbarian. Now playing the Storm Slide Barbarian on his Druid. It was a very good title. So yeah, Druid also rocking in the 152s here 
with the storm slide build and uh, barbarian nowhere near competitive but yeah necro is amazing guys log in we'll all we'll see some balance at some point but uh yeah i get it other classes have been in a similar spot so uh we'll see what's gonna happen in the mid season or in season six with the amazing new spirit born either way necro is insane for pit pushing big numbers double digits take care my friends gg if you like this video make sure to subscribe leave a like or a comment i'm also live on twitch almost every day so come and say hi